anyways gents um we got this joseph diary thing we're gonna hear this this guy out and then i'm gonna give you guys a full rundown and no bias opinion from this shit dog gents i'm gonna give you guys my full unbiased opinion bro i'm not gonna i'm not gonna i'm not gonna sugarcoat shit i'm here to speak what i think bro shit. let's hear this dude out bro the whole entire episode was stayed i'm gonna try to not pause bro but i'll pause if i want to bro and it was threatened against coming clean. I'm here today with Damon Bryceland, who recently went viral on social media after being on a YouTuber called Joseph Darry's episode. And Damon would like today to share Dude. his side of the story. The people that filmed us got us to sign an NDA agreement. And we didn't even realize we were signing an NDA agreement. They just took out a phone. They told us sign. It was like a digital signature. So to clarify, Damon, they just said, but I don't understand that part, bro. Like, I want to know what he, what those guys told him. Because there's no way he just, like, he just signed some shit. He probably asked, like, what is this, bro? So that one is weird. It's signed here without any context, without showing you anything. Mm -hmm. And then afterwards, attached that digital signature to a, another document and said, this is the NDA. They didn't say, don't disclose it. They didn't say anything like that until I got an offer from a TikToker to produce some content and now Black Panther. He's the manager for yes. Joseph Terry. So this I What? What's Black Panther now, Jens? Jens, what's Black Panther? What's Black Panther, Jens? Oak phoned me and while he was talking to me, I happened to mention that this TikToker wants to produce some content with me. Yes. And it's related to relationships. That is when Black Panther said, This guy is going to f up my business. Okay, uh -huh. I don't want you to do it. And then only then he said you signed an NDA agreement. So this is the first time. You who's, 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 who's Black Panther, bro? Who's Black Panther, Jen? You heard about this was when the manager Black Panther was after the fact threatening you, essentially. Yes. Threatening. All right, okay, that, that part didn't really give much. Okay. I used to jerk off to Angry Birds when I was... About 13, I loved Angry Birds. I had every game and bought every toy they had. One day, I was playing Angry Birds when, when, wait, what? One day I was playing Angry Birds when all of a sudden a big red bird turned me on. I couldn't stand it. I was going crazy. I decided to pull out my big long willy. What? And start jerking off. What the fuck? I never felt. I never had felt so good. Soon continued to do this daily. And I never got bored of it. Joseph Derry walked up to me and Shanique. He said, he's not the one that writes the scripts for these things. He said, someone needs to cheat on someone. You guys must come up with a backstory. You know, the problem is you and in particular Shanique have received a lot of online abuse. A lot of people have been very abuse. cool about Shanique saying that she's a cheater. Okay. Mm. And she and you have been too scared to tell people the truth, to tell people that it was staged because you've been worried about the threats from the manager Black Panther. And in this case, you guys have oh. had to keep on receiving all this sort of harassment in some cases just because of this. Uh so Black Panther's the manager. Hey bro, what the hell? That's a weird ass name for management. Uh, after the fact, supposed NDA. The person that received the most abuse is Shanique. Yeah. She is not a bad person. Now that I'm coming out with the truth, I want everyone, whoever's out there, to please not cyberbully her because she is not guilty of anything. So when I found out about Damon and Shanique's situation, I was very upset. I've had three separate lawyers look over the document and they have consulted us. There is absolutely nothing in it. I'm going to support Damon and Shanique to the very end. So to Joseph, and to Black Panther, his manager,
my recommendation to you guys is that you walk away, you leave these guys alone, you no longer contact them, you no longer threaten them. This whole little circus of threatening other people to dance to your tune for your staged content ends today. <laughs> I, that, 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 that sounded like that sounded like it came from the 1950s, bro. I can't lie to you. But hey, man, I hear him though. I hear him. But let's look at the last one, bro. Let's look at the last one, bro. So far, I'm, I'm gonna give you guys the full rundown on what I think, bro. Yeah. I just wanted to apologize to you. Yo, you, 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 dog. 42k likes. Yeah. About saying that this whole entire episode. My guy, you'll be shocked that people are cyberbullying her, bro. Like. Gents, you guys in the chat might have lives, but there's other people out there that don't have lives, bro. It was real. I was put in an in a position where I just couldn't tell the truth because I was so scared that legal action would be taken against me because of this NDA. Black Panther said to me, you're not allowed to talk about it to anyone. <laughs> and me personally as a person, I don't like to lie. But now you know it is staged. Yo, my nigga, you're not blinking, bro. <laughs> Why my guy's not blinking at all, bro? Relax, Damon, dog. Hey, he's gonna use that karate on, on Joseph, bro. He's gonna use that karate, boy. Me and Shanique are just actors. We met that one day. We don't even know each other that well. It was a performance for entertainment purposes. I would have told you all a lot sooner that it was staged if I wasn't put in this position. And lastly, as I said, I'm really sorry. I think it's nice to be in a conversation where you can speak your... Gents, why would they stage this interview? That's what I've been hearing this whole day, gents. Like, does it make sense for him to stage the interview, though? If you think about it, bro, like... Give you my word. That if Joseph Derry or Black Panther, if anyone tries to come after you mm -hmm. or Shanique. Okay, now he's chatting, bro. Let me give you all what I think. You guys are saying cloud chasing and everything. Don't you think it would make more sense for him to be buddy buddy with Joseph than to cross him, bro? The nigga that put you on, you would cross him. For for what? You gain zero. You get what I mean, bro? It's like, let's say I work for. Sit there in the corner and take notes, let's, bitch. Let's, let's say I work for. I work for. And let's say my boss gives me a raise, James. I won't disrespect him the week after that, bro. The day, the next day, I'm out here disrespecting his orders. Like I would, I would obey him, bro. I would obey him. Bro. Sit there in the corner Real and shit. take notes, bitch. Dude, I don't know about that whole cloud chasing chat, James. Let me keep it a hundred, James. I understand you guys are saying you're chatting. Let me be honest, dog. You guys, you guys watch these niggas, bro. You probably like, nah, it's this, it's not true, bro. If something comes out about me, you would say the same thing, bro. Facts. You would say the same thing as like, hey, this this can't be Aaron, dog. I think the, the Joseph and this, bro, are working together. Okay. That's a better, that's a better theory. That's a better theory. Then for you to say, hey, bro, then for you to say that these niggas are cloud chasing. Because, gents, if you think about it properly, dog, this does not, it does not benefit this guy at all. What does he gain from this, bro? Zero, bro. You are crossing the guy that put you on. Come on, buddy. And what I also don't understand about this is that, like, he said NDA, but then, like, he's talking now. So, what? Is there, like, a void in that NDA or some shit? Is there a void in that NDA? Hey, James, doesn't matter what I think, bro. Doesn't matter what I think. I mean, I'm talking off of what is given here, bro. What I think has nothing to do with this conversation. Let me be honest, James. You see, you see like, James. Nah, let me keep quiet, bro. Hey. I was gonna say some other shit, bro. I don't think he gains anything from staging this, though. What you guys think though though? Because hella niggas are saying this guy is cloud chasing bro. And it sounds like it sounds like it's a regular thing, bro. Aye boy, I can't lie to you, bro. Like the fact that like it's a white guy saying it also ish ish ish. It just makes the case worse. It makes it less believable, bro. Because because listen that it makes it less believable. It makes it less believable because it's a white dude. Let me be honest though, because if it's a white dude, if it's come out of a white dude's mouth, what do we think first? Like Here's the truth, bruh. I'm like, hey, bruh, he's hating on niggas. Facts. We will say that he's hating on niggas, straight up. We wouldn't think it out, dog. We wouldn't We wouldn't think, hey, bruh, this guy might be, like, telling the truth and shit. But if it has to come out of a black person's mouth, bro, we're gonna believe it, straight up. If it comes... Now, we talk about the Joseph Diary situation with the thingy. With that um other demon guy. Dog, if it was a black person saying this, bro, everybody would believe it off the rip. That's just facts. That's just facts. 
It's how things are, bro. We'll talk about the Joseph Diary situation, gents. This this thing here, bro, of this nigga here. But am I am I spitting facts on that on that um on that thing of the white guy and black guy, ne? I'm spitting facts, right? I'm spitting facts on that, ne? Because that's what I've noticed, bro. Like, what busy? You see exactly. You see, you first believe Mac G. You see, you see, you first believe Mac G about that shit. You see. You say you're chatting, nah, you're the only one saying I'm chatting, bro. God, you're the only nigga saying I'm chatting, bro. I'm thinking, bro. I'm thinking, bro. It's the facts, bro. If it's cross-race, gents, we're gonna say that it's racism, bro. If it's our own people, we're gonna believe him, bro. You see? I'm telling you, boys, bro. <laughs> Mine's the shorts, boy. Mine's the shorts. But then like, yeah, James. I'm trying to tell you niggas, bro. You will first say that I'm having an L take. Now look at you. The, the switch up is crazy. The switch up is crazy, bro. But yeah, bro. Um, me personally, though, I don't think this is going to affect Joseph in any way, shape, or form, bro. Uh, I think he might have the same, like, motion as before. Uh, up until, of course, another person comes out and says, like, and it's a black person or person of color. Then only things will change, bro. Then only things will change. And also what's weird, what makes it weird is that he is the only person that came out and he's white, though. That's the that's what makes it also weird, bro. It's like, come on, buddy. I'm not saying anything of like I think this guy's content is fake, this guy's content is fake. I ain't saying none of that, bro. I'm staying out of that, bro. I already had some other nigga come up here and like be on some hey bro, why did you post that vid? When I didn't even mention no niggas, bro. So, me, I'm off that shit, bruh. I'm off that shit. Bro, why would the girl speak, though? Like, like, why would the girl speak, James? Like, why would she speak? On some real shit. Why would she speak? She gave, like, the girl, the girl's gonna get 10 times more hate, bro. You guys, the only, the only way you guys, the only way you guys' theories, right, of cloud chasing, it, it might be true. That one might be true. Because maybe he was like, hey, bruh, the numbers are low. This nigga's dropping more episodes and my, my emotion is fading away from this nigga. So let me, let me like, get back that emotion. That's the only way it can be true, bruh. But other than that, your theory is false, bro. Trending for the wrong reasons. That's kind of true, bruh. Let's take a talk about gay boy. I'll show you who's gay, bruh. <laughs>